Good Saturday morning to everybody. Just doing a quick update on uh, Hurricane Matthew here. Now it's really uh, pounding South Carolina as a Category 2, going to be weakening to a Category 1 soon. Winds are just over 100 miles an hour. I want to dive into what it looks like on satellite. You can see here's a storm. You can see the well-defined circulation center actually right over land right now. And the, uh, the strongest winds are happening right here. So right near Charleston, this actual little band in here, if I can zoom in, is where we're seeing a lot of the heavy winds. Uh, there's Charleston and the surge of this storm too always comes in uh, where those wind bands are coming in off the ocean. So if we go ahead and look at some, uh, it's actually a pretty cool website, shows you some updated short-term weather models. This is wind gusts. So you can see as you move across the day that when you get into those orange colors, uh, those will be gusts that are, you know, 70, 80 miles an hour, uh, which there are reports of that now happening along the shoreline. And what happens, guys, is all this wind, see these arrows pushing, it's going to push that water, especially during high tide, onto the shore, cause surge, and we're already hearing of a lot of problems there, and then the storm works its way up the coast, and by the time we get to later today, it's actually giving uh, North Carolina some problems, and this will be weakening to a Category 1 uh, at that point. We can even look at the simulated uh, radar to give you a better idea of just the intense precipitation. It's going to work its way up the uh, southern coast uh, today, and just, again, look at this eye wall or the strongest wind just work its way up the coast there. And again, all the surge associated with that is really going to affect a lot of folks. So just to give you guys a pretty cool um, graphic, look at the precipitation accumulation in terms of rainfall here. Look at these totals pop up. I mean, this is not a joke. This could happen. I mean, look at this. Up to 11 inches of rain across uh, this whole area. So um, this has been quite the storm. Florida had some damages. Um, not as bad as expected as that I stay just offshore. But now that we're seeing... Um, this, what's left of the eye wall, uh, working its way um, onto the shore, you're going to see those high wind gusts. And now you can see there is no more circulation out to sea because dry air is getting wrapped in, and eventually this will get pushed out, and then high pressure will push it back down. So and then it will weaken. So it's not really going to be an issue later in a week. But that's it. Just a quick update. Thanks for checking in. Winter Outlook, by the way, is out a week from Wednesday. So I hope you guys are all looking forward to it.